What's up everybody, it's Paul from Boosted Films and in this video we're going to change the cabin air filter on this 2017 Ram 1500. So we're going to start on the passenger side of the vehicle, open up our passenger door, uh, whatever you want to do to get the most access to your glove box. This is the typical behind the glove box cabin air filter. So all you really need to do is remove your glove box uh, to get access to it. So maybe that's all you needed from this video, but if not, I'm going to continue on with all the details here. So anything that's in your glove box, go ahead and take it out and remove it. Uh, you will probably have this soft open, soft close um, rope wire, arm, whatever you want to call it here on the right side. Uh, so to release that, you should just be able to lift up in the glove box a little bit, slide it towards you and pull it out. Uh, here's a shot of that same process from the inside. So you can see it just pulls out of there. This one went easier than almost any other one I've done before. So hopefully yours is just that easy too. Next, you lift up and squeeze on these inside pieces. You can see how flexible that is there on the glove box. Uh, so you just got to squeeze that in and then your whole glove box will drop out of place. So now we're going to peek our head down where we remove the glove box. You can see kind of on the right side here, there is a cover. This cover says airflow with the arrow pointing down. I like it. It's good design, uh, but you should be able to release this cover by pressing on both sides. The left and the right side kind of have a, a clip that holds it in. So once you press on both sides, it should release and that cover should come off, uh, giving you access to your cabin air filter. So our cabin air filter slid out pretty easy on this one. Watch for any excess debris. If there's large leaves or a lot of stuff on top, try to make sure you keep it on top of the filter so it doesn't fall into your blower motor. Next, as always, I like to compare the old filter to the new one, just to make sure they're about the same size and everything. Uh, this particular one I got here is what worked and what we put in, but I will say this one seemed to be a little bit wider, which was kind of welcomed, but also a little bit deeper, which was not as welcomed because it was a little bit harder to get that cover to actually snap all the way in place. It's not really a big deal. It still worked just fine overall. Just something I observed with this filter. Uh, so of course, airflow, watch that airflow arrows uh, that says airflow down. So we're gonna pay attention to that when we go to reinstall our new filter. And it is as simple as that. With this particular filter, I was able to look right at the side that gave me the airflow arrow direction and then push the air filter, uh, slide it back in place. And again, it went pretty much all the way flush. Uh, there is probably a little bit of room in that cover for it to hold um, that additional part sticking out. Um, but there you go. Only goes one direction again with this cover. You can see airflow direction down and you should be able to just set that on and snap it in place on both sides. So pretty simple process. Uh, it should snap in and hold in place. Again, uh, just this particular filter, I think it was, was made it a little bit tougher to get on there. But as long as you touch this with your fingers and it doesn't just fall off, it, it's pretty much fine. I won't be too concerned. Uh, but if you can get it to just snap in place, then you should be pretty much all set. Next, we're going to reinstall our glove box. There are four hooks on the bottom side of it and then kind of this bar that it hangs on. So we're going to set it on those hooks first. Uh, but then before we lift it up too far, make sure you reach in and grab that soft open, soft close uh, little, little rope piece there and then lift up your uh, glove box, squeeze the sides again and then set it in place. Uh, so I did all that kind of while holding on to this soft open, soft close piece here, that clip that we need to clip back in. So of course you should just be able to lift up the glove box a little bit, slide that in place and then kind of even set your glove box back down and it should pull up into place. And there you go. Now you have that uh, glove box working just as it did before. Go ahead and put all your stuff back in there. Readjust your seat position if you adjusted your seat and you have successfully changed your cabin air filter. And that's about it for this video. Uh, as always, I appreciate everybody watching. If you want to leave comments or check the comments if I did anything wrong or maybe there's a better way of doing something, something I missed, always check the comments down below. A lot of smart people like to leave comments that can correct any issues I might have had. But if you do want to help me out, if you could, you know, thumbs up, like, subscribe, whatever, all those things. But also comment with your particular RAM. Uh, this was a Bighorn 1500. Maybe it's different, but I think it's the same for a lot of RAMs this same year. But if you could comment with your specific year, make, model, that might help other people to know that this process would work the same for them if they chose to watch this video. But as always, this is Paul from Boosted Films saying thanks so much for watching.